Hello, BitTensor family. In today's video, we're going to go into details of what wallets are and how they work in the context of the BitTensor blockchain and ecosystem. When we think about wallets, there's generally two things that come up. The wallet application to access our Tau and our Alpha, and then there are also the wallets that are on chain. Let's start with the wallets on chain. You've probably heard of a cold key and you may have heard of hotkeys. And on the BitTensor network, they have specific meanings. The cold key is where you store your free Tau. Hotkeys are used to, for staking. All Tau on a hotkey is staked. All alpha on a hotkey is also staked. So if you're sending Tau into the BitTensor ecosystem, you want to use your cold key. If you're selling your Tau, you want to have that Tau free on your cold key to sell it. The hotkeys are used for staking, for mining, and for validating. If you're staking, you actually don't need your own hotkey. You're going to stake it to the hotkey of a validator. We'll talk about that in a little bit. If you're mining, or validating, you'll need at least one hotkey associated with your cold key that is registered on the subnet where you're mining or validating. You can have many personal hotkeys. You could mine on 20 subnets with 20 different hotkeys. What's important to know about all of the cold keys and the hotkeys is those balances are stored on the blockchain. And here's where the wallet apps come into play. The wallet apps are the interface to the blockchain. The analogy I like to use is the mobile app for your bank tells you what your balance is. It may let you do bank transfers, but your balance isn't in the mobile app, it's at the bank. So think of the wallets as you know the website for your bank, the mobile app, the ATM machine. You can interface your bank account from all of those places. You can add balance, remove balance, transfer balances, your wallet apps are the interface to the wallets on the blockchain. So how do you create a cold key? I'm going to show you how to do that with the Polkadot wallet. It's very similar for all of the other wallet applications. There's an extension that you install in your browser. And when you open that, you can click the plus button and it says create new account. When you click that, it tells you the wallet. And this is your cold key address. You can name it so it's easier to find. I'm not ever going to use this wallet because I've exposed my 12 word mnemonic to everyone watching this video. Anyone with this 12 word mnemonic can regenerate this wallet on their own computer and manipulate it. And we don't want that to happen because then they have full access to all of the Tau and Alpha associated with that wallet. All of the wallet applications let you import accounts from using the seed. So if you've created a cold key somewhere else, you can import it into the extension. You can also use the bitkly, the BitTensor command line interface. And the command is bitkly wallet new cold key. And it walks you through, you can name your wallet. It asks the number of words for the mnemonic. It gives you the mnemonic and then you enter a password. And that password is what you use to create transactions. So if you do a transaction on the web, it'll say, what's your password? And that's sort of like the pin number on your ATM card. It lets the once validated, the transactions will be sent to the chain and processed. It goes without saying that the password is very important to keep secret. And also the mnemonic is very important to keep safe and secure. If you are, if your computer ever blows up, you need the mnemonic to recreate the cold key address in your new wallet application. If you don't have it, you can never access any of the tower alpha on that wallet. Most people watching this video are going to be staking tau or staking alpha. And if that's the case, you don't need your own hotkey. You can pick a validator and use their hotkey. Now staking on BitTensor is safe because it's still associated with your cold key. There may be tower alpha on a hotkey, but that is actually still owned by your cold key. So it can't be 
you can't lose it unless somebody has the password to your cold key and does an unstaking transaction. So if you have free tau and you want to stake, you will buy the alpha and you will stake it to the validator's hotkey that you've chosen. We think tau stats is a great choice. Once you have your wallet with tau and maybe you've staked to a few different subnets or validators, you can use tau stats to track your portfolio or your account and track the balance of all of the subnets that you staked into. If you connect the wallet extension to tau stats, you can also send tau. You can transfer alpha and you can perform staking operations right from the tau stats interface. You can also set liquidity positions and set limit orders for buying and selling alpha. All of that's available inside the tau stats interface once you have your wallet created and connected to tau stats. Keep watching this channel for the latest updates on the BitTensor network and ways to functionally interact with the network. Thanks for watching.